Hi there, Lara Riggio here, and today I'm going to share with you an energy hack. An energy hack is a simple and easy exercise you can do on yourself to help alleviate any stress or symptoms you may be feeling from environmental stressors or emotional stress. And today's energy hack is actually an astrological upgrade. Over the 15 years that I've been in practice here in New York City, practicing energy medicine, I have found that my bodies, my clients' bodies are affected by astrological shifts and changes. I know, it's weird. And it happens. I had found that I'm wondering why over a two or three day period, all my clients were coming in with the same energetic imbalances. And I thought to myself, gee, what's actually happening environmentally? Is there a storm? And when I looked at it, every time there was a retrograde, a lot of my clients had trouble sleeping. So I started putting two and two together, and then when I saw in the astrological calendar there was gonna be a retrograde coming, I watched and I saw these patterns repeat themselves yet again. In January, we just had a huge eclipse, and for a lot of people that brought up anxiety, it brought up old, deep-rooted fears for people, and left a lot of people feeling quite lost. Some of my clients even had huge life changes occur, and a couple of my clients had careers end, um, they had relationships end, and actually these situations they were in, they weren't really serving their highest purpose or their soul's desires, and so it actually was a good shift that these relationships and careers ended, and now they had the opportunity to really tap in and think about what they wanted in a partner, what they wanted in a job situation, and begin to manifest that. And this full super moon tonight is a perfect opportunity for you to connect to an ability um, to be able to channel your own intuition more and your soul's and heart's desires. With all these astrological changes, we are being asked to upgrade our own levels of consciousness. And when we do that, it can enable us to actually attract better situations in our lives that support what we want. So what you feel and what you think and put out there in the universe is what you attract back. That's a law of attraction. So we want to make sure that the actions that we're taking right now, the energy that we're putting out into the universe, we're doing it while we're feeling good about doing it. So any actions you may take to get what you want, whether it's with dating or whether it's with, you know, finding a new, gear, new job or changing your career, you wanna make sure that you feel good about it and you're not doing it because you think you should do it. So in the dating realm, like if you think you should be out there, you know, looking to meet a partner, if you're online and that's not feeling like a good authentic way to connect with people, don't do that, find another way. And it may be as simple as just, when you see a good looking person on the street, smile at them. That could be a great first step. If you are looking to change up your career, maybe if working on your resume is making you feel nervous and frustrated, maybe take a different approach. Maybe even meditate for 20 minutes a day. And then after your meditation, stop and ask your body, hmm, what is it that I want in a job? And then just write from your heart and see how you wanna feel in a position. And then think about what kind of jobs might give you those feelings and just free write. And see if this doesn't open you up to any new ideas about career direction could be a great first step. I actually got that one from a friend who's doing this right now. Uh, she just lost her job in January and this has opened up a whole new dream for her and a direction for a new career. And she's pretty excited about it. Now she's in conversations with people and it looks like a job's gonna come through. So doing this, guys, is a much, much more 
energetically aligned way to go about doing things. And the exercise I'm about to share with you, if you do it tonight on this full super moon, it's a perfect time to get more in alignment with connecting into yourself and being able to follow here and follow the wisdom of your heart and your soul. So I want you to think about anything that you want right now and think about you know how you feel when you think about this thing that you want. And now let's open up your chakras so that we can get a clear flow of energy between your heart and your soul and your own body, okay? So when you clear chakras, one of the ways of clearing them is actually tapping them, okay? And it's moving energy through it. So chakras hold old emotional energy that you no longer need. So as we actually tap them, you're gonna be releasing that energy and freeing up your body to receive new ideas and um, new information. So put your left hand on your forehead and then you take your right hand on your first chakra. Now, your first chakra is right in front of your pubic bone. So go from your belly button down to your pubic bone and you're gonna tap that pubic bone or your root chakra. And as you tap it, just think to yourself, I can let go of any stress I feel around this issue and tap into my heart's desires and my soul's wisdom now. Pause here and breathe into this. Then exhale the air out. Go underneath your belly button now to your womb chakra, tap that. And just think to yourself, I'm willing to release any stress and tap into my heart's desires and my soul's wisdom right now. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale the air out. Go above your belly button to your solar plexus chakra, tap here. I am willing to re release any stress around this or any feelings about what I should be doing and tap into my heart's desires and my soul's wisdom. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale the air out. Now go to your chest and tap it. I can let go of any stress or pressure. Tap into my heart's desires and my soul's wisdom now. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale the air out. I can release any stress and tap into my heart's desires and soul's wisdom now. Pause here and breathe into this. Exhale, go to your third eye. I can release any stress and pressure and tap into my heart's desires and soul's wisdom now. Breathe into this. Exhale the air out and on the top of your head, I can open myself up to my heart's desires and my soul's guidance right now. Pause here and breathe into this and exhale the air out. Now, take your hands to your heart just like this, okay? And close your eyes and I want you to feel as if a beautiful teal light is coming in from the heavens through the crown of your head and it's now pouring down through your head, behind your eyes, through your third eye chakra, down through your throat, down through your chest. And this teal light is cleansing and energizing all your chakras and helping them get more aligned with your soul's desires and goals for you, your soul's purpose. Feel this teal energy moving through your heart chakra, down through your solar plexus, down through your womb chakra, down through your root, down through both legs, and then moving down and out your heels, down through the building that you're in, into the earth's dirt, through its dirt and down through the ground to its rock. Moving through all of the rock, deeper and deeper and deeper through the earth until you reach the center of mother, her core. And now see that teal light mixing with mother's energy, which is more of like a pink lavender light. And feel that light now moving up through the earth's center 
through the rock, through the dirt, through the building that you're in, all the way up through your heels, through your legs, through your root chakra, through your womb, through your solar plexus, through your heart, through your throat, past your third eye, through your crown chakra, and up to the heavens. Open your eyes, and now you've got two lines of energy, the teal energy coming in through your crown, and the earth energy coming up through your root. It's moving through your chakras, connecting you to all that is and to your soul's guidance. With your hands on your heart, see if you can allow this energy to pull right here at your heart and start to spin. And just imagine that it's spinning this way counterclockwise on your body toward your right shoulder and as it's spinning I want you to think about a time in your life when you felt super super loved it might be when your mom was hugging you when you were a child it might be recently when a friend reached out or gave you a hug Maybe it's a time recently when you've just been in, your bed, been in your bed and you've been cuddled up, maybe in your favorite PJs with your favorite blanket. But think of a time when you felt super, super loved. And now, just imagine that energy keeps spiraling in through your heart and in through your heart chakra. So imagine the love that you're feeling right now moves down into your chakra, into a deeper layer. And your chakras have seven layers. I'm gonna show you a picture as you continue to imagine this energy going in. So this is what your chakra looks like when I work with yours or my client's chakras. It's almost like a funnel, okay? So the top layer that you're spinning right now is a little bit wider. And as you feel this love that you have felt in your life move down into the second layer, just imagine it goes in a little bit further into your body. Feel the next layer, the love go into the third layer so it's a little bit deeper into your torso and through your heart. Feel that love going in into the fourth layer and now the fifth layer. Feel it moving into the sixth layer and then down into the, what I call the tip or the ice cream cone point of your chakra. Feel this energy moving down through it. And now you can feel this teal lavender light fully present in every layer of your heart chakra. Take a deep breath into it and energize that. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale the air out of your mouth. Beautiful. Now you're gonna take your left hand with the fingertips like this, place it right on your heart chakra. Your right hand you're going to place on your left rib cage, on a spleen point. So you go from your chest straight down to your rib cage, make that same position with your fingertips and rest them there, okay? On your rib cage. So heart with the left hand, rib cage with the right on the left side of your rib cage, okay? We're going to be channeling spleen energy, which is you have a meridian in your body that's associated with your spleen organ. And this meridian helps your body digest food and sugars, and it can help us digest emotion and assimilate new ideas. Um, and you have your other hand, the left hand on your heart chakra. So as you rest here, see if you can wait to feel pulses in both hands. And as you do this, I want you to think about the situation that you brought up earlier and think about what you could do that would feel really good and loving. So how could you move whatever the situation is forward in a way that would feel good to you? And sometimes this is maybe not doing think something that you think you should and maybe resting and waiting for the answers to come. If that's the case, if you're not sure how you want to proceed, but the one way you thought of just doesn't feel good, you can always do that exercise that I talked about earlier, where you do this exercise 
and then sit down and write. Just free write and see if you can't get some wisdom from your heart and your soul on what would feel good next. But what might be a good next step for you that feels really good? What can you do or what do you just decide not to do? So just close your eyes and tap into your heart and see if you can feel your fingertips begin to pulse. And see if you can just listen to your heart for the answer. If you take some deep breaths or some yawns, this is good, this is energy moving. So what is it that you think you want? And if you need to pause this video, you can and spend a little more time here. But for those of us who have gotten our answers, we're gonna move the right hand now to your right rib cage. So find your chest, go down on your rib cage below your chest and rest here. And think about when this thing that you want to happen actually happens, let's say towards the end of the year, okay? Let's give yourself lots of time to have it happen. Think about how you will feel as it happens. So think about the feelings you'll have as this thing you want occurs. And see if you can feel pulses in both fingertips as you feel the feelings of this thing happening and coming to fruition. And take a deep breath and see if you can expand that feeling through your whole body with your breath and then exhale. And then tap back in and see if you can get pulses. And again, if you need to stop this video to get some pulses, you can do that and then start it again. But if you've got them, let's go ahead and move our hands. So now you're gonna cross your hands at your heart. You take that same finger position and find two tender spots on your chest. Okay, these are lung points. And lung is associated in the meridian system emotionally with having faith, and finding inspiration. So as you're here and you're thinking about the feelings around <laughs> what you want um, coming true, see if you can tap this right into your lung points. Tap that feeling, those good feelings about this thing you want coming to fruition into these points, just like that. And then I want you to imagine that there is a conveyor belt right in front of you, okay? It's actually moving along just in front of you like this as if it was moving dreams along the pathway to get worked on in a factory, right? And it's moving out into your future. I want you to take your desire and those feelings about your desire coming true and coming to fruition, I want you to place them on that conveyor belt and just imagine that they're rolling out through all your days into your future. Because what you want is totally possible. And the more you can do this, get in touch every single day to what you want and how you can take action in a way that's truly aligned with your heart and your soul, you will be using the law of attraction in a very authentic way that works. So you can do this video every day. And I also invite you to read the love letter to yourself that I'm including in this blog every morning because it talks about a lot of the same principles I shared with you today. So do this exercise every day. Um, and if you don't have time, just read the love letter. It can, get you it can get you in alignment with what we talked about today as well. The other thing you also can do is just rest at night before you go to bed or when you press snooze in the morning, you can rest with your hand on your heart and your hand on one of those spleen points. That will help you as well, okay? Please let me know what happens with this. Send me a comment. Let me know if you have had any um, light bulb moments go off. And also, in the comments section, let me know are there any energy hacks that you'd like me to teach that deal with any of your specific issues, because I'm sure if you have it, somebody else does too. I'm wishing you so much love, manic, magic, <laughs> and manifestation um, to you every single day. Mwah.